war has sadly died, but peacefully, at his home. Wing Commander Paul Farns, who was 101, was awarded the Distinguished Flying Medal for his efforts in shooting down six enemy aircraft. Many of his missions were flown from airfields in Kent. Richard Slee now looks back at the life of a truly remarkable man, one of the few. At the time dawn of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember him. And many people will remember Wing Commander Paul Farns, seen here just a couple of weeks before he was 100 years old. A few years ago, the Wing Commander showed us his wartime logbook. It details the sorties he flew as a hurricane pilot, and it reminded him of comrades who didn't come back. High over the vales of Kent and the downs of Sussex they fought, and down... The one chap of ours who'd come turned up in his, in his uh, sports car with all his kit, and uh, got out, reported in, and the CO said, well, better go and get your kit on them. He took off and, and that was it, he never came back. His car was still there with his kit in it. Paul Farns joined the RAF as a volunteer reserve in 1938. Hurricanes and Spitfires roared into action. He was one of 3,000 Allied pilots who fought in the Battle of Britain, earning his Distinguished Flying Medal as a flight sergeant in 1940, before he was commissioned and going on to serve in Malta, the Middle East and North Africa. At the Battle of Britain Memorial Trust, they remember Paul Farns as a humble man. He didn't want to be recognised, all his and colleagues, as the heroes. But the Battle of Britain, I think, was a very emotional time for him, particularly if you'd been right from the beginning of the war. You saw the disaster in France then coming back, and 501 suffered a lot of casualties. After he retired from the RAF in 1958, the wing commander ran a hotel in Worthing. But memories of the war were never far from his mind. We, we were all together, we were all doing the same job. It became a duty for which one didn't find at all objectionable, really. Pitching yourself against somebody else and uh, frequently getting the best of it. It's something I did enjoy. Wing Commander Paul Farns died at his home in Chichester. He was the last surviving Battle of Britain ace, and there are now thought to be only two surviving members of Churchill's few. Richard Slee, ITV News. Truly a